we'll continue talking about the variance and the standard deviation. Over here, we'll talk about the different properties of variance. And these properties are somewhat true for the standard deviation with a slight variation in them. That the variance of a constant is equal to zero. That in our data, if all the values are constant, there's like A, 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 A for all the values, then the variance of this constant is going to be zero. Because all the values are getting on to the one point, there is no other spread right there. The second property talks about that the variance is independent of origin, which means that if we add a value into a variable, it will remain the variant, it, it won't have any effect on the variance of the data. Third property talks about that if it's multiplied or divided by the, by the, the variance is multiplied or divided by the square of the values. If each and every observation in the data is multiplied or divided by some constant, let's say if A is multiplied with each and every observation in the data, the variance of AX turn out to be square of the A times variance of X. And if it is divided by B, each observation in our data is divided by B, the variance will be 1 over B square variance of X again. And the lastly, the variance of sum of difference of two independent variables is equal to the sum of their respective variables. Like if there is variable X and variable Y and both these variables are independent of each other, the variance of their addition should be equals to the addition of their independent variances. And the same is the case if there is a difference between two variables. It's again equals to the addition of both the variables. There's this very interesting fact about this, the use of standard deviation when our data is very symmetric. That if we go, if x bar represents our mean, then if we go just one times of the standard deviation away from this mean, it will account for 68.3% of the data. And as soon as we go it, we do it for two standard deviation distance, it, it accounts for 95.5% of the data. And lastly, if it talks about mean plus minus three times the standard deviation, it accounts for 99.7% of the data. There are a few pros and cons of the variance and standard deviation. These both measures summarize the, the deviation of large distribution from mean in one figure. These measures indicate that if the variation of difference of individual observations from, is, from its mean is real or by chance, these measures are preferred when the data is symmetric. Its demerits includes that the numeric value of the standard deviation does not have easy non-statistical interpretation. Moreover, variance gives the answer in squared units. And lastly, the value of both the measures is affected by extreme observation in our data. All the absolute measures of dispersion plays a very vital role in estimating other statistical measures. Thank you.